What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we're gonna install a really small part on the Rogue Glide, but it actually does a lot of things. So, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. If you guys have a 2019 or newer Street Glide or Road Glide Special, this modification will work for you. You must have the new GTS radio though from Harley for this to work. If you have a 2017 or a 2018 Street Glide or Road Glide with the older radio, the older touchscreen radio, this modification will not work. Just wanna put that disclaimer out there before we get started on today's install. So the stock GTS radio from Harley that comes in the 2019 and newer specials has CarPlay capability. However, if you plug your phone into the USB port, which is in here, CarPlay will not pop up on the screen. So there's a guy out there online that makes this little device. I will put all his information in the description of this video and provide a link to his website on where to buy this little module. It's only 25 bucks, it's super cheap, and it's super easy to install. You guys are about to find that out. But basically what that does is it allows you to have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on your GTS radio. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this install. It's really easy, guys. All you have to do is have a screwdriver, some Torx bits, and an Allen wrench, and you'll be able to do this install. You got, a, you got four Phillips screws here on the windshield to take off. This here is just my GoPro mount. Um, but yeah, you have four Phillips screws here to take the windshield off and then this piece here Basically just pops up comes off and then you got to take your speaker grills out There's going to be a Torx bit here one on each side and then you have the two smaller Torx bits down here Take those off loosen up your turn signals here with this Allen bolt and as Soon as you take that off the outer fairing will come right off the bike set it down on the ground Make sure you don't scratch it and then you'll get to that connector Which is literally right here right behind this fairing Super easy install. Um, I've watched a couple guys do it on YouTube already, but I figured I would add it to my channel. Um, I know you guys like all my informative videos, step-by-step -step videos, so I figured this would be a good one. I know, just like me, I mean, I've been wanting to know how to get CarPlay on my stock radio for like a year now, and then I just come across this guy on one of the Facebook forums. I ended up buying the $25 module from him. I know you can do this mod with like tricking it with a paper clip but i didn't want to like hack anything for 25 dollars i said i might as well get the you know right connector for it and that way it doesn't ever fail me so that's why i went with that if you guys want to be cheap there is a way to do it with a paper clip i'm not sure which pin you have to trick but uh, there is a way to do it so let's go ahead and get started all right guys so your first step is to take the windshield off obviously and then once you take the windshield off this pops off, and then I'll show you the other screws that we need to take off to remove the front of the fairing. All right, so the next step is taking out your speaker grills. Uh, be careful doing that, you don't scratch the inner fairing, but then we're gonna take a T27 Torx bit and undo this here, and then the front of the fairing will come off. You also have to take these two T25 Torx on the back side of the fairing, you gotta take those out as well. So after you get these bolts out, you have to take the turn signal off, this is a 3 16 Allen wrench here for that. All right guys, so here's a little CarPlay jumper here. And what this does is it basically tricks the Rogue Glide into thinking that there's hooked up. So we're gonna basically just plug this into this connector here and call it a day, it's that simple. So as you can see, it just plugs in here, make sure it snaps, and then go turn it on and try it before putting the fairing back on. And then I went ahead and zip tied the plug so that it's not flopping around in there. But yeah, that's basically it guys. So now that we have everything bolted back up, we're gonna go ahead and turn the key on. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull our USB cable out of here, which comes factory with the Harley, this little USB cable. I just use a little black lightning cable because I have an iPhone. So let me put the camera down and plug my iPhone in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plug my phone in, see if I can do this one-handed. There we go. All right, phone's plugged in. Let's see what it does up here on the radio. Boom. Maps come up automatically. All right guys, so here we have our home screen for our Apple CarPlay. It's basically like Apple CarPlay in any vehicle. So what we have here is our phone, music, maps, messages, now playing, Harley Davidson app, news, audiobooks. I don't know why you wanna to listen to an audiobook while riding, but hey, to each their own. Um, calendar, Settings, Google Maps, Pandora, Waze, and WhatsApp. Those are the apps that I have installed on my phone that work with Apple CarPlay. I'm sure there's other apps out there that work with Apple CarPlay, but that's all I have installed. Um, and then you got your favorites over here, Maps, Music, and uh, Calendar. 
But what's cool about the Apple CarPlay on the Harley is that you can use your factory controls to navigate through the Apple CarPlay. So like, let's say you wanna go over to music. Phone, you, I, I clicked, I clicked the, right, the right arrow. Over here, I clicked the right arrow. And then, let's say, so it's on phone right now, click right again, music, click OK, boom. Music comes up. And then, it's just so nice. You don't have to reach up and, you know, use your screen. You can use your controls just like you control the radio. So that's a really cool feature on this Apple CarPlay on the Harley is you don't have to touch the screen. I thought for sure you would have had to touch the screen to navigate through your different apps and different settings, but you don't. You can use the stock factory controls to control the Apple CarPlay. But that's basically it, guys. Just an overview on how to install it, what it does, and there's really not much more I can talk about. I mean, it's a super easy install. Anybody can do this. If you have a screwdriver and a couple Torx bits and an Allen wrench, you can do this install in your garage. It took me literally two minutes from start to finish to do this. So uh, make sure you guys go check out that link in the description below and uh, order one up for yourself. You guys might have noticed something different on my bike. Yes, I changed out my grips. I used to run some cheap grips from Amazon. They were like 14 bucks. All my OG followers, if you've been following me since I got this 2019 Road Glide, you'll know that I, when I first bought the parts on the bike, I went cheap and I got them off Amazon because there was a lot of cool parts on Amazon that were cheap but looked good. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to get some cheap grips instead of spending $100 on, you know, Harley grips or Roland Sands or Performance Machine, you know. But... I will say guys, you get what you pay for. So after about 6,700 miles on my 2019 Road Glide, those $14 Amazon grips started to fail on me. If you guys know, this is throttle by wire. So the grip runs in here on a little gear. There's a little gear in here that basically runs your throttle. And that gear was starting to strip out in the grip. I was starting to lose teeth in the grip, so my grip I'd be like giving it gas and it wasn't going anywhere or it would get stuck halfway and my idle would be up and that's scary because if the throttle sticks you're screwed. So I ended up taking off those Amazon specials as I would call them and I put on these Arlen Ness knurled grips in black. You can get these in different colors. You can get them in bronze, gold, red, blue and black I believe. Oh and billet, silver. But I wanted to go with black because it kind of blends in with everything on the bike and especially that I just got this new center console with the black anodized crown. Here's a better look at that. But uh, anyway, that there's an Amazon special as I would call it. I got this off Amazon for $32 and I bought the cast cap for $15 off Amazon. I will put a link in the description below for both of those as well as the Arlen Ness grips, which I actually ordered these off Amazon, but they are Arlen Ness. Arlen Ness makes great products and uh, I was actually met them all down in Daytona last year and I love their products so um, I told myself when these grips over here fail which these are the Amazon specials I said when these fail I'm gonna order me up some Arlen Ness grips because I love the knurled finish on the grip there and these here are kind of knurled but after 6700 miles they're kind of wore out and then like I said the gear in there is all wore out and I did like the end caps on these the contrast cut because I have the matching uh, axle nut covers on the front which I might be swapping those out now being that I don't have the matching grips but uh, anyway I just wanted to show you guys put these in the video if you guys are looking for some really nice grips for your road glide basically any Harley um, throttle by wire these Arlen Ness knurled grips it's a real nice rubber real thin um, they're not real thick grips if you can tell they're, they're a lot skinnier than these ones these ones were fat I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but anyway, if you guys are looking for some nice grips for cheap, I believe they're like 55 bucks for a set, which is cheap because most Harley grips are over $100. But the weird part about these Arlen Ness knurled grips is this side clamps in like normal, you know, it goes in the little slot and it's throttled by wire, but the clutch side, you glue on, kind of like the stock grips or like a motocross grip, you glue it on. It doesn't go in the little slot here in your perch. It doesn't go in there. Um, it basically... You put, it's rubber, it's a rubber grip. It's kind of like a motocross grip or the stock Harley grip or grips are glued on as well. And basically you just put some grip glue in there and slide it on, get your Arlen Ness logo where you want it. And that's it. Like, there you go. And it's done. And honestly, I absolutely love these. I haven't ridden with them yet, but I love the knurled finish. Gives it a nice grip. 
they're thin like I mentioned and uh, yeah super happy with those so I wanted to plug those in this video uh, I didn't want to make a separate video just on grips I've already showed you guys how to install the grips how to uh, remove this little odometer button which is a pain in the butt uh, make sure you guys go check out my how-to video on how to install grips uh, that was one of my first videos I did on this bike that's a step-by-step -step video for you guys if you don't know how to do it um, but yeah just wanted to throw these in there for you guys and just show you guys how nice these are for the money. I mean, you can't beat it. Billet end caps, nice knurled grips for like 55 bucks. Can't beat it. But that's going to complete today's video, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all your support on the channel. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more videos. I have more videos coming for the Rogue Glide. Uh, more parts on the way. I will be in Daytona again this year for Bike Week. So if you guys are going to be down there, make sure you guys comment below, message me on Instagram. Maybe we can link up and do some riding down in Daytona when we're down there. I'm super excited to bring this bike down to Daytona now that I have that 475C cam in there and I'm not going to be able to test it here and ride it here in Michigan until Daytona. So Daytona will be the first time I'll be able to ride the bike, which is kind of crazy. Just did all this motor work and then not even test it here and trailer it down to Florida and ride it for the first time in Daytona, which will be kind of cool, but at the same time a little scary. But I think everything will work out. I did a couple heat cycles. Everything seems to be working flawlessly on my 2019 Rogue Glide. So yeah, if you guys are going to be down in Daytona for Bike Week this year, make sure you guys hit me up. I know there's a ton of different events going on, ton of different shows, um, different ride outs. I know the performance bagger scene this year is huge, even bigger than last year, and last year's was pretty big. So if you guys are into performance baggers, you're going to want to check out Daytona Bike Week because they're taking over, guys. I'm telling you, performance baggers are taking over. Mark my words. Um, nothing against big wheel baggers and audio baggers and any, you know long, sleek fenders and, and saddlebags. Nothing against those bikes. All I'm saying is performance baggers are taking over, guys. And anybody with a performance bagger or looking to build one or in the process of building one knows exactly what I'm talking about. So make sure you guys go check that out as well. But yeah, that's basically going to do it for today's install video, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all your support on the channel. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!